Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on my art journal, but first I have some new uh, stamps to show you. I couldn't help myself but buying these. You know how much I love Elena Zinski designs, and these are her paper art systems uh, that are sold uh, in many craft stores. Uh, the, one of the latest releases had all these llama designs, which are so cute. It's a lot of fun. It has different designs, uh, borders, uh, sentiments, and <laughs> look at this one. Uh, it's uh, uh, very original and fun. Uh, this is from a previous release with all these mice, uh, and uh, they are absolutely adorable. And these are the uh, elephants, uh, and uh, another recent release is the chicks. I actually used one of these already. This one, I have an art journal page with this that I'm going to link down below. Uh, they are hilarious and I had so much fun working with these and I'll keep using them of course in the future. So now I'm going to create an art journal page uh, with, uh, with the llamas uh, releases. Uh, I, I find them super cute and it will be a lot of fun. Uh, because they are so much fun I decided to have a colorful background and I took out my acrylic paints and my brayer and I'm going to have a really colorful uh, background using my brayer. Uh, I have uh, all these uh, Americana deco art Americana uh, acrylic paints here you can use whatever you have it doesn't matter and I'm going to use my brayer to uh, just spread my paints and I know at first it will look very messy but in the end uh, you will see uh, I will use techniques to uh, bring it all together and create a fun background. I decided uh, <coughs> to use my jelly print actually, jelly plate actually to continue the process. Uh, to make it uh, organic and to have my uh, paints uh, easier uh, with the brayer. Uh, it's easier than using it uh, on the notebook. Uh, and also if I have uh, any left on the uh, jelly plate I can just uh, stamp it like this. Uh, and uh, it will be easier to layer one after another. It's just really fun uh, as a process to just uh, use your acrylics uh, color after color and you can give shapes like I did here for example uh, if you use your the back of your uh, brushes and do some uh, you know shapes uh, you can use your stamps uh, stencils uh, whatever you want I didn't want to do uh, I didn't want to complicate so much uh, all I wanted was uh, all these colors, uh, different colors on my uh, page. And then you will see what I will do to, <laughs> to make this mess uh, uh, more pretty. Finally, I'm going to use a lavender as well. Uh, in addition to all the rest of the colors that I have uh, on my page. And uh, a little bit more yellow to give some brightness. Uh, so that it's not also dark. And uh, you will see now I will do another technique. The, uh, I took a white paint and my uh, blending uh, sponge actually. So I'm going to take a little bit and uh, do these uh, circle shapes. They will look like bouquets. Uh, so the uh, colors underneath will come through a little bit but not totally. Uh, so it will look like a you know, dreamy background. If you want, you can make it even more transparent with less paint and uh, let the colors behind come through. You can try this with many different colors and uh, shapes. Uh, it's just a technique that uh, I like to do sometimes. I'll also do some splashes while I have the white paint uh, ready. Now I'm going to stamp my llamas and uh, color them. I selected several uh, stamps from all the stamp sets that I showed you to create a scenery with lots of llamas. I'm using my archival ink in black uh, to stamp them on a white cardstock. I'm going to uh, color them afterwards with... Uh, today I'm going to use my uh, alcohol markers from Arteza and then I'm going to cut them out and uh, create a scenery on my page. 
Uh, I have this uh, beautiful bag of uh, Arteza uh, al alcohol markers. Here it is. It's very easy to carry and it has uh, all these colors uh, beautifully uh, prepared and it's really easy to store as well. Uh, I'm not going to show you all the coloring process. It will take ages uh, but I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Uh, it's not so complicated. Uh, the spaces are uh, small. Uh, I'm just coloring the uh, accessor accessories with these uh, ones. And for the uh, big parts of the bodies, I'm using my uh, Distress inks uh, with my finger dabber. Uh, it's very easy to color uh, with this. I actually wanted, because the background is so busy, I wanted uh, these llamas to stay white. But white is too white. Uh, it won't look good, so I'm just giving a tad of color with these uh, inks uh, to uh, make them off-white, give a bit of color here and there, uh, rather than having them super white, which is not realistic anyway. You can use your Distress inks to color as well, uh, and uh, they are really easy to use uh, with finger dabbers. Uh, if you want uh, also you can use them like watercolors uh, just uh, put some on your glass mat or uh, craft mat uh, and uh, spray some water and they will become watercolors uh, now uh, I'm doing I'm going to do some uh, interactive effect here uh, I'm going to cut this part of the page because this uh, llama uh, does some peekaboo so I want to give a, a fun element to it so I'm going to uh, I just drew here uh, like a cloud just uh, not to have like a straight cut uh, I'm going to cut this part of the page like this and uh, I'm going to make this llama to hide behind it and uh, uh, there there he is uh, doing big peekaboo since these designs are so much fun, it uh, makes me think of fun sceneries always. Uh, so uh, that's how I'm going to create uh, uh, like a playful page with these uh, hilarious animals. I'm just going to stick a part of what I cut down as a ground for my uh, llama doing the peekaboo. Uh, so it doesn't go to waste and gives a ground. After all, we don't want him to fly uh, on in the air. I also don't want this part of the page to stay completely white so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a, a few colors of what I used for the background just put it on my craft mat uh, spray some water and I'm going to do splashes uh, giving a colorful background uh, to this part as well but it won't be as dense as the rest of the page so it will be differentiated from the rest this is a technique that I like uh, a lot as well to splash a few colors on the page to create a background. Uh, it really is, it looks a lot of fun and uh, lots of colors. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to also do it for the front of the page too because there, now it's uh, almost white with all these bouquet circles. Afterwards, I'm gonna let everything dry or you can use your heat gun uh, to dry it all and it's time to create the scenery and uh, glue down my llamas. Uh, I'm going to name uh, my llamas too uh, for sure uh, because it's so much fun to create a, a story with it. Since one of the uh, llamas is doing uh, yoga, let's say they are on a retreat uh, to do yoga and meditation. Uh, and this guy is the naughty one who can't do it and always distracts the others. Now the papers I'm using are also Elena Zinski design papers. Uh, this is a paper pad that is sold in Hochanda. Uh, so uh, I'll leave the link down below for you to see it as well. Because the designs go so well with my background and the uh, colorful uh, theme, uh, I decided to cut them to give a ground for my llamas. Uh, after all, this one is doing yoga and needs a ground to sit on. I'm going to uh, use my matte medium to stick down my uh, papers. 
Uh, I can easily do that because uh, there is no uh, ink at the background. It's all acrylic paint already dry so nothing is going to move. Uh, my uh, llamas are all also safe. There is a bit of ink on them so uh, I'm being gentle but it's not a big deal. Um, so I'm using uh, all these uh, papers to ground all my llamas. You don't need to have these papers. You can always uh, stamp and color yours with the similar colors that you have at your background. Uh, you need to be, uh, you know, uh, mindful of what you have and use them, make make use of them. Uh, since I have these, I just wanted to make use of my stash. Uh, I'm going to have this llama in the middle of the spine, so I cut it in half. And uh, I'm going to uh, stick it really close to the spine so uh, it looks okay. And when you close it, uh, it won't be difficult to do. I'm uh, going to glue down this part of the uh, page so it's uh, all closed. Uh, and uh, I'm going to do uh, a little uh, border to just draw the eye inside. Uh, sticking these four flowers uh, all around the corners. I think they look super cute. Uh, and I'm going to uh, stamp my sentiment uh, on the uh, white paper too. I don't want to stamp it on the uh, page directly because it's going to get lost. Uh, and of course it says uh, peekaboo. It's from the same stamp set uh, that I used all the llamas from. I'm just giving it a bit of color with the inks again, not to make it uh, completely white. Now it's uh, a little bit off white and it goes with the colors that you see on the page. Uh, I also have this element and I'm going to stick it uh, here uh, uh, to make my page more interesting. After all these elements uh, add uh, some interest on the page and makes it more fun and colorful. Uh, I have another uh, sentiment too, of course, Lama Lama Ding Dong. <laughs> Again from the stamp set, uh, even looking at it makes me happy and uh, just have a laugh. Uh, it's so hilarious, all of them, especially this one, uh, you know, uh, looking from the other page. And I'm going to, and I drew some dots through the sentiment peekaboo uh, as if uh, he's the one saying it. And I'm going to give names to all my llamas. I chose names that start with L, uh, like Lama Liz, Lama Lily. It's all a part of the process uh, of having fun. Uh, and it's about the journey, not the uh, end result. Um, I always tell you it's not about uh, you know uh, doing the same with others or um, trying to create a perfect page. It's about having fun while you're doing it. And I had so much fun creating this page, playing with these uh, hilarious llamas. I'm just border, uh, bordering my pages with a little bit black ink. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit shadowing with this uh, Stabilia All uh, black uh, pencil. Um, it is water soluble so you can uh, go over it with a water brush afterwards. So it creates a nice shadow. You will see now how I am dissolving it uh, and uh, everything becomes a bit more uh, clear. And uh, it looks like uh, there is a shadow behind them, making them more realistic. If it's too much, you can always clean it uh, with a baby wipe, like I'm doing here. Uh, and uh, it's really easy to manage. Uh, if you don't want it, you can wipe it off. I'm going to do this uh, process for all the elements on my page. And then we can say uh, I'm done. Uh, I really love the page and how playful it is. I hope you enjoyed the process. It was a bit of a long video. Uh, if you liked it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me over Instagram if you want to see more as well. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you all a great weekend.